So today we are going to discuss the prolonged and bizarre QRS complex. In the previous lecture, we discussed the causes of high and low voltage of QRS complex, especially in the QRS complex of bipolar limb leads, lead one, lead two, lead three. To discuss the prolonged and bizarre QRS complex, we need to discuss the standard calibration of the ECG paper once again. And we discussed that the ECG paper is calibrated such that there are small squares and large square. And there are horizontal lines and vertical lines. And it is it is calibrated, calibrated such that two large squares, two large squares vertically will make one millivolt. It will be vertically, it represents the voltage of the QRS complex or the height of the QRS complex. So two large squares basically represents one millivolt, one small square represents 0.5 millivolt and one large square basically has five small squares horizontal uh, vertically. Similarly, each large square has five small squares uh, or horizontally as well. But horizontally it is calibrated such that one inch, one inch is equal to one second. The speed of the paper is such that, that the, the paper comes out of the machine with such a speed that in one second, one inch of paper come, paper come out. And in that one inch of paper, there are five large blocks. This is one, two, three, and two more, five, five large squares. Five large squares come in one inch and that are equal to one second. It comes out in one second time. That five, basically one inch divided into five large squares. So the duration of each large square comes out to be 0 0.2 seconds. And as we discussed that each large square is five small squares. So each small square comes out to be 0 0.04 second. So the smallest square in the ECG paper is 0 0.04. Four second. Now we have discussed this. So let's come to the prolonged and bizarre QRS complex. Normally, normally the width, the the duration of the QRS complex is about 0 0.06, 0 0.06 to 0 0.08 seconds. 0 0.06 is about one and a half small square, or and two 0 0.08 is almost two small squares. So the normal duration, the normal width of a standard QRS complex on a standard calibration, calibrated ECG paper is 0 0.06 second to 0 0.08 seconds. This width or this duration of the e QRS complex is prolonged or increased in some condition. Most, prob most commonly, it is increased in hypertrophy of the left ventricle, hypertrophy of the right ventricle, or dilation of the heart. So, the size or the duration may increase from 0 0.09 to 0 0.12. 0 0.12 will have three small squares. Normally, it's about one and a half, but in hypertrophy, when the heart muscle has increased, so there is more muscle and the depolarization, the current has to travel a lot of distance. So it will take more time. So the, the duration of the QRS complex will increase from the normal 0 0.06 to 0 0.08 second. It will increase from 0 0.09 to 0 0.12 second. That will be around three small squares. And that will be seen in hypertrophy or dilation of the heart. But there is another condition that we have discussed that is the bundle branch. And we have discussed that the depolarization process starts in the S anode. The S anode depolarizes. It sends depolarization to the AV node. And from the AV node, the depolarization or the current goes into the bundle branches. We have the right bundle branch and the left bundle branch. So if one of the bundle branch the, of the Purkinje fiber, the branches or the, 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 the tissues which basically transmit 
the depolarization in high speed so if this is blocked the speed of the transmission of the depolarization becomes slow and that depolarization the depolarization has to be to come through the heart muscle if we have here the s a node here is the a v node and here is the bundle branch normally the current will depolarization current will come through this pathway in high speed but if one of them is blocked then this depolarization process comes in the cardiac muscle so when it comes in the cardiac muscle it takes more time and this will lead to a prolonged qrs complex and that will be more than 0.12 second so from 0.09 to 0.12 second it may be in hypertrophy or dilation but once it's more than 0.12 second it's certainly due to the bundle branch but mostly due to a single bundle branch block either a left bundle branch block or the right bundle branch block of course a bundle branch will also lead to reversal or change in the axis of the cardiac vector which we have discussed already we are not going to uh, to detail so vector change we have already discussed but it will also lead to the prolongation of the qrs complex and it will be prolonged it with its width will be increased then we have another condition this is basically this diagram is basically showing the a large version of the ecg paper on which the small square have been not been drawn and the proper calibration has not been done only the horizontal lines of this ecg paper has been shown here and here is the voltage two large square is making 1 millivolt 2 millivolt 3 millivolt 4 millivolt so this is the same diagram which we discussed in the previous lecture as well now there is one condition in which the heart has got multiple blocks here we have got one large bundle branch block sometimes in the heart muscle we have multiple blocks small multiple blocks or sometimes due to some pathology or some disease there is destruction of the heart tissue in these two conditions the depolarization current comes in one way it comes into it come it encounters a block or it encounters a damaged heart tissue and it get reflected into another direction and the vector direction keep on changing in these conditions in multiple small blocks and destruction of the cardiac muscle the appearance of the qrs is complex is bizarre there may be 1 2 3 or more peaks of the qrs complex normally we see, we have only one peak only one peak only one peak here you see here you may have 1 2 3 or and the width or the duration will of the qrs complex will also be prolonged that's something most commonly seen in multiple small blocks and destruction of the cardiac muscle because the depolarization current the depolarization current which starts here and goes smoothly through av node through sa node through av node through the bundle branches has been blocked in multiple areas and so the normal flow of the current has been disturbed multiple times which has led to a, a bizarre appearance of the qrs complex on ecg papers so that's all about the prolonged and bizarre appearance of the qrs complex thanks a lot for watching the video